To go along with our Marvel Crisis Protocol City Board, I decided to build and paint up the apartment building. With this building, they gave you several options to add or customize to it however you'd like. Along with this apartment building, they gave you several pieces of other scatter terrain that you can throw around with your superheroes, one of which is a really cool water tower. They also gave you a skylight, an entrance door, and some fire hydrants. Now something I should have done, which you will not see me do here, is I should have kept all of these windows separate and painted them separate and then glued them on after I finished painting the building. Once you have all the walls assembled, you simply glue them to the base. Another thing to look out for when you're putting this building together is that the walls have windows that are different on each side. Make sure that you're lining them up to match correctly. The cool thing about this apartment kit is that you can make it as many stories as you want. In the future, I'd like to get a couple more to make a four-story building and a two-story building so it'll really look like a city. Once everything was built, I realized this is going to be way harder than I thought to paint. The first thing that I did was to primer coat the base of it black. Then I primer coated the whole thing a leather brown using several thin layers and letting them dry in between. Then I airbrushed a gray primer coat for all of the other small pieces that came with the apartment building. Using my airbrush, I sprayed on a base coat of a rusty brown red modeled over the building to give it some variety. The next step was to water down a reddish brown shade and wash it all over the building into the cracks. Then I wiped down the surface using a paint rag. Then I used a black contrast paint watered down for all of the smaller pieces. After the wash is dried, I began to dry brush on several colors for the bricks. Next step is to lay on some of the flat colors that originally were there. To do this, I'm using the edge of the brush, not so much the point. And the goal is to bring back some of those original flat colors like a comic book and allow the shades to stay in the cracks of each piece. The next step was one of the hardest parts of the process, which was to paint all the windows. I started by base coating it black and then made a little stencil to airbrush on a slight blue fade. I also applied the same effect to the skylight. I used a simple stencil to airbrush on some comic book style reflections into the windows. Next, I masked off the roof to airbrush on a gray primer. Now I learned with these terrain pieces that you need to do these washes to get into the cracks and add some variety to the surface, otherwise it will look too flat. I then go back on and use those flat colors to model in most of the gray that was lost, but keeping the wash into the cracks. I use these Micron pens to trace a black line around the window frames to give that comic book inking look. Then this was the longest part of painting the windows, which was to go back and lay in the flat colors on all of the windowsills. Next, I added some weathering by splotching on and blobbing on lighter colors. The next thing I wanted to do was add a big, bold comic shadow to the back of the building, similar to what you'd see in a comic where it's black on one side with lit windows. So I masked off the back of the building 
Then I created a little spotlight template so I could make it look like there's an alley light in the back of the building as well. Once everything was masked off, I airbrushed on a solid black. I achieved the lit window effect by airbrushing on a white color and then a light yellow. Once I peeled off the tape, I was really happy with how this turned out. It was time to finish up the build with some details, along with adding the halftone comic book pattern. The final part to this build was to add some graffiti to the side of the wall. This graffiti artist's work inspired me to create my own cabal graffiti. Word to your mama. I did a gradient fade using the airbrush to mimic the reference image. Then I blocked out the letters using a flat color. Then using black ink, I traced out the letters with a brush. Some highlights really made the letters pop. And then to keep it in that comic book realm, I added some Kirby crackle with the airbrush. I wanted to blend the graffiti in with the shadow side of the building, so I lightly airbrushed on some black. The final step was to glue on the little air conditioners and the fire escapes to the side of the building. I hope you guys like watching that video. I'm probably gonna be taking a break from Marvel Crisis Protocol builds for a while. I wanna work on a new series for beginners on how to paint a miniature. Till next time, keep gaming, keep crafting.